Hey, thank you for clicking on the video. Today I'm going to be running my new reverse osmosis system that I'm going to use on maple sap. So this system will help me to concentrate my sap down before boiling. It can actually remove quite a bit of water. And I'm really excited about that because normally I spend a lot of time boiling on the boiler and it takes forever. But with this system, I'm really hopeful that I can remove quite a bit of water and save myself a lot of time and a lot of wood. Okay, so this is the system. Basically, I have raw sap in that bucket getting pumped through. It goes into a pre-filter and then it hits membrane one and membrane two. I was gonna have three membranes, but when I started the system up, I realized that the third membrane had a crack. What it was doing, it was dumping a ton of water out of the pure water outlet. Either the housing was cracked or the membrane was cracked. When I removed that from the system, now I'm able to maintain 100 PSI, which is great. You wanna be right around 95 to 100 PSI. So this is the damaged membrane and housing. I'm not really sure if the housing is cracked or if it was the membrane, but I had water just flowing out of this outlet. I have a needle valve here, and you can use the needle valve just by turning it a little bit. You can increase the pressure. If for whatever reason you need to increase the pressure on the pump, there is a little Allen key spot right there, in there, and you can actually turn the pump up or turn the pump down if you want to help reach your desired pressure. Coming out of the membranes, the yellow line is my concentrated sap and the blue lines is my pure water. All of the videos that I've seen, a lot of them say equal pressure on these two lines. I have seen some videos that differ and they say that there might be more of a percentage that you want to go for. I'm going to do 50-50. I feel like if I have more of a 50-50 balance, there may be more water in my concentrated sap, but I certainly shouldn't have any sugar in my pure water. So I'm gonna stick with 50-50 and try it this time. If you guys have something that works better, let me know in the comments. If you watched the video where I built this system, I didn't have the needle valve. I upgraded to a needle valve. What I had was a quarter turn ball style valve. I couldn't get as precise of adjustments. So I did go and pick up a needle valve these are compression fittings and they come with brass ferrules. I'm a little weary of using brass ferrules on quarter inch poly tubing. So I did go ahead and I picked up some plastic ones. And you can over tighten those brass ferrules on the poly line and you can actually crack the poly line if you're not careful. So if you're at all interested and you wanna see the video where I built this RO system, I will link that in the description below. I will also leave some links to videos that I found helpful. There are a lot of other great videos out there that show off using RO membranes to help concentrate your sap. So definitely check out the description. One of those guys might tell you something that I miss, vice versa. So on the inlet side, what I did was actually put a push fit fitting. I put some washers on it and that just holds it down in there so that it can pump that through from the bottom of the bucket. These are my new buckets. I had someone reach out to me and actually say like, hey, you can't use any old bucket. You should be trying to find food grade buckets. I was using Lowe's buckets before and I'm glad that I upgraded to these. I think they're gonna be a lot better for me in the long term. I'm gonna keep them clean. I'll be reusing them every year. Look for that food grade logo. I had thought previously that if it has a HDPE number two that it was good but that's not the case. Initially, I had planned to run the sap through the RO system two times before boiling. However, when I boiled it earlier, what I found was that I'm boiling it so fast, I'm not able to keep up. I'm not able to process it through two times by the time that my boiler needs more sap. That's okay. Running it through once, you can see how much water you're pulling out of it. It's really nice to save all this time and all this wood. Normally in the past, I would be slaving away boiling sap directly from the tree. It just took a lot of time and a lot of energy to do that.
Well, it's beginning to get dark now. I'm going to be boiling into the night. If you have any questions or comments, please do leave them below and I will answer them when I can. If you could, please hit that thumbs up button. That does help YouTube to place us just a little bit higher. Otherwise, take care and have a nice day.